What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can ring little bell and buy my soul top. I super duper appreciate the same, same, same. This is hashtag glow up series for the month of October of 2021. This could resonate if you have cancer in any aspects of your chart sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, midheaven, or Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply that, apply that, apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, I want to take a minute and thank everybody for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just a bomb for Kindigity.com. You really, really are. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys, even my haters, for real, for real, for real. I really, really do. I do. Um, I appreciate all the likes, subscribes, shares of my videos, and um, the donations. And I've had several donations in recently, and it's really, really helped support the channel and grow the channel, and I really, really, really appreciate it. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5, the link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. So I just wanted to take a minute and um, tell you guys how much I appreciate and uh, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I'm truly, truly, truly mean that from the bottom of my heart shop. All righty, well, let's get rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, I got two channeled in as I was meditating on your hashtag glow up um, energy for the month of October of 2021. The first one I heard Cajumel, Cajumel as in Cajumel, Mexico. And the first one, spirit messages you have sign up for cancer. And the um, second one, I heard family reunion. <clears throat> so you plug that in, how that resonates. So Cajumel, I take that as like Cajumel, Mexico. I didn't hear Cajumel, Mexico. I just heard Cajumel. But... Um, from my understanding, that is a city in the a city in Mexico. So, excuse me. I feel maybe for some of you guys, you are going to travel to Cozumel, or you have just traveled to Cozumel, or someone you're connected to has is a just traveled to Cozumel, is about to travel to Cozumel, or maybe you have a vacation home in Cozumel, or someone you're connected to lives in Cozumel, or is about to. Um, travel or has a vacation home in Cozumel and then family family reunion um for some of you guys I feel you might um be going to a family reunion soon or you just went to a family reunion or somebody you're connected to has is about to go to a family reunion or is about to go to one so you plug it in however that resonates in your life if it does spirit message if you have a sign of cancer Number 44, 20, or 46 might be very significant for someone. <clears throat> 44, 20, or 46, those could be significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. They could possibly be ages of you or somebody you're connected to. They could be birthdays, um, birth dates, um, social security numbers, green card numbers, possible um, lottery numbers, um, jersey ball team numbers of you or somebody you're connected to they could be significant numbers you're seeing out on, on billboards or advertisements 44 20 or 46. also you could be dealing with another water sign because you have water sign energy for your animal spirit card cancer pisces scorpio if you are they could have cancer pisces or scorpio in their sun moon rising venus north node midhaven or jupiter you plug it in however it resonates mastery A particular cancer has mastered a skill and it is about to benefit them greatly, greatly. Some public speaking, some career, some spiritual realm. Okay, so you plug it in, help it. Um, I heard some public speaking, some career, some spiritual realm. So you've mastered some kind of speak skill in some area of your life. Particularly, it sounds like for some of you guys, public speaking, your career. I heard career, so whatever career that is and however it resonates for you. Um, and um, spiritual realm. So some of you guys practice in the spiritual realm. Now, 
to me, that can go dark arts or light arts. Um, spiritual realm, there's dark arts, there's dark side and the light side. So whether you you master the dark side or the light side, you have to plug that in however that resonates with some kind of mastery on the spiritual realm. For some of you guys, if that resonates with you, and some of you guys public speaking, and some of your career. Now, that is very broad and general career. Um, you have to plug that in however that resonates, if it does for you. Um, but whoever this is for, I feel you're at the top level of your game if this resonates with you, however that resonates, whether it's career, public speaking, or spiritual uh, realm, dark or light side. I feel you're at the top of your game. You're at the mastery level. Um, you plug it in however that resonates. Okay. Dolphin spirit, this and that are true. A particular cancer is about to get a lot of <clears throat> unnecessary gossip come in their ear. Very unnecessary gossip. Use your best discernment. Most, most of it is not true. Know this. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates in your own life. A lot of this gossip is going to be by people you thought was reputable sources, but they most certainly are not. They're hiding a lot. Okay, so you plug it in how it fits. Wow. Holy crap. So you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard some of you guys are about to get a lot of unnecessary gossip coming up in your ear. So chitter chatter, chitter chatter, chitter chatter, bees, 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 buzzing up in your ear. Um, but I heard a lot of it is not true. A lot of it's not true. And uh, it sounds like a lot of this unnecessary gossipy gale, gossipy Gary energy is going to gonna, gonna be coming by, coming from someone you thought was a very reputable source. But I heard um, they're hiding a lot. So there, it sounds like whoever this is resonating for, if it is for you, um, they're gossiping for strategic reasons. Because I heard they're hiding a lot. So they're gossiping to you for strategic reasons trying to get you sway you your decision on whatever the hell it is and how it resonates in your life for strategic manipulative reasons because they're hiding a lot if that makes sense so that's what i'm feeling from the message but you plug it in however that resonates so the this and that are true they're trying to uh, basically chitter chatter up in your ear and make you believe something that's not true because they have a lot to hide if that resonates with you Some toxic people from your hometown. Some people in your political party. Some ex-lovers. Okay, so you plug it in how it fits. Wow. Okay, so some of these chitter-chatter gales or Garys or whoever these people are. Heard some are toxic um, people from your hometown. So... People from your hometown, it sounds like that you you grew up in. Uh, for some, you could still live there. For some, maybe not. But there are people that grew up in your hometown when you grew up in your hometown as a child, it sounds like, um, is what it sounds like. And some pol um, people in your political party. So for some of you guys, you're in a political party of whatever political party that is and however that resonates. Um, it's people in your political party and they're trying to make you believe something that's not true, basically but they're doing it for strategic and manipulative reasons. And for some, it's ex-lovers. So people you were sexually connected with in, one, in some shape, form, or fashion, one time or more than one time in your life. Um, so you plug it in however that resonates. Wow. Soak in a bath. A spiritual bath would really be helpful for a lot of cancers. Really taking the stress off. Okay, so you plug it in how it fits. I heard a spiritual bath, bath would be very uh, beneficial for a lot of you guys. It would really take the stress off. So if soaking a bath energy, um, this is spiritual bath energy, if this resonates with you. Um, and you see she's got, uh, he or she's got this spiritual bath. 
going on up in there with the crystals and the candles. And of course, everybody does it in different ways. But um, Epsom salt and cannabis oil. I use Epsom salt and cannabis oil for me personally. I um, mean, it's very relaxing. It's very relaxing. It relaxes your muscles. It makes your skin soft. It's very soothing. And of course, you can do the candles and crystals as well if you want to. Um, you know, however you want to do it. But um, to me, what goes in the water is the most important thing. And I use the cannabis oil and the Epsom salt. Um, I use uh, actually lavender and um, lavender is my favorite um, Epsom salt, but there's many Epsom salts. Um, but definitely the cannabis oil as well. Um, but you can choose whatever you want to put in your uh, spiritual bath. Um, that's just what I use if that helps anybody. But it really, really, it does help just decrease the stress. It really relaxes your muscles. I mean, I can lay in spiritual baths for hours. For me personally, I really can. The more I embrace feeling good, the less often I will feel bad. Rewriting, rewriting the subconscious. A particular cancer is really trying to get over the past. Really, really badly. A shocking series of chain events is going to occur soon. It's going to force truth out. It's going to shock this cancer. Okay, so you plug it in however it resonates, if it does for you. Um, I heard... Um, at least one of you guys is trying to get over the past in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, whatever you're trying to get over from, it could be toxic family, toxic lover, these gossipy Gail and Gary energies. Um, it could have been getting, un, you know, fired from a job wrongfully or um, not wrongfully. It could have been um, maybe somewhere involved in a Secret 7 situation. I mean, I don't know. You plug it in however it resonates in your life if it does. But you're trying hard to get over it, whatever it is. It could be one thing, it could be one plus things. You plug it in how it fits. But I heard a shocking series of chain events is going to occur soon. That's basically going to force some kind of truth out. So it sounds like these people up here are trying to basically put in your ear lies. Lies and deception. But now it could be about the same thing or a different thing. You plug it in how it fits. But some kind of shocking series of chain events is going to occur where it's going to force some kind of truth out. So as much as they're trying to gossipy Gail and gossipy Gary in your ear, it sounds like the truth's going to come out regardless of whether they want it to or not for some of these people. That's the energy I'm feeling, but you plug it in how it fits. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Heavy social media energy. Heavy. Okay, I heard heavy social media, heavy social media energy, heavy. So you plug that in, however that fits. <clears throat> heavy social media energy, heavy. So you could be, um, your profession could be on social media, or you could just be on social media a lot. Or um, maybe there's something on social media that you see that goes viral, or you post something that goes viral, or some kind of heavy social media energy. I didn't hear viral, but... Um, some kind of heavy social media energy is going to be very important, uh, it sounds like, in this, in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, either you're doing this or somebody you're connected to is doing this, um, whether it's gossipy Gail or Gary energy or that truth being forced out. You plug it in however it resonates, but social media is very heavily involved in this. We're done. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped for real, for real, for real. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media and spread my channel word of mouth. I'd very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much. Namaste.